All right, I'd like to give my review here on this uh, Thermaltake uh, V100 uh, budget uh, PC gaming case. Um, very basic, very standard. Um, as you see, it comes with um, two front uh, covers. So if you want to, let's say, for instance, put in a CD, DVD ROM, <clears throat> or Blu-ray ROM, you can put that in. If you want to put in an internal card reader, you can do that. Um, the mounting procedure inside the case is very basic. Um, it also comes with two dust covers, actually three dust covers. Uh, it has the top dust cover. You have one for your side. Um, also, you have one for the um, uh, bottom for your, um, your power supply. Um, now, the rear... PCI slot covers are the breakaway version, not the ones that you screw in. <clears throat> um, I decided to take the breakaway ones and just put um, existing, um, put in slot covers that you could screw out um, if you need be, uh, in case you want to expand the case. Um, opening up this case, I can do that real quick, a little trouble here, one second. As you see over here, this comes with the um, with the dust cover, which goes on the inside for the side cover. Um, <clears throat> as you see, this is a basic um, AMD build case. Um, as you see, it has mounts on the inside for uh, SSD drives or any 2.0 drive that you would like to put in. Uh, basically, mounts on the rear end of the case. Um, this is not an actual gaming build. <clears throat> this is basically built with a standard AMD Athlon um, with a Gigabyte B450M uh, DSDH uh, motherboard, which could be used for gaming if you got the right um, um, processor. This was built with an AMD AM4 Athlon, but it decided to use an existing AMD cooler from a previous build and used it for the cooler in this, uh, in this case itself. Um, again, budget build. As you can see, the ketchup and monster for the um, um, using the uh, 600 watt EVGA um, bronze edition power supply, non modular. Um, so that's what it decided to do in this case. Um, now with this thermal take case, it also comes with um, it comes with a rear fan already pre-installed uh, in the front of the case. As you can see, uh, you can install two 120s or two 140 fans. Also, the same goes well, with the top with the top mounts. Uh, you can put in two 120s on the top of the case over here on the inside. <clears throat> now, this is also you could do some water cooling in it. I wouldn't recommend it on a budget uh, build case. Um, as you can see, it also has some um, holes where you can route your wires through. Again, doesn't have any rubber grommets because again, this is a big, a big budget case. Um, the other negative to this case is the fact that the metal is very thin and flimsy. Um, I got another V100 case that I had to get rid of uh, to use this one in its place because of the fact that the metal bent. Um, so you have to be extremely, extremely careful. Same thing with the plastic on this. The plastic in this could break very, very easily. Now, going on the rear of this case, I'll open this one up. Table management in this case is very simple, very straightforward, as you could see. Um, it comes with a lot of different possibilities for routing your cables. Um, they do come with, um, in this case, um, it comes with all the mounting hardware that you would need. comes with also all the wire ties. I decided to use my own. I have, you know, be, use my own on top of the ones that's supplied. So again, the mounting option is the wiring options. The mounting options are excellent. You could put a micro ATX, ATX, and a uh, mini ITX case. Um, also, on the back of this, as you can see, there's mounting um, options for two more hard drives, 3.5ers. You could even put some 2.5ers in there if you'd like. Um, and again, good location where you could hide all your cables in the back. Especially excellent option if you're using a non-modular power supply in this case, which I'm using. Um, again, the, the, you know, for, even for a budget case, and this was this I got for fifty dollars at Micro Center. Very, 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 very well thought of. Um, 
you know, now, unfortunately, now, this case does come with a see-through window. I would not get that one. Now, if you want to use just a basic gaming case with basic options, no RGB lighting or anything like that, this would be the perfect case. For a standard office build, this would be a perfect, you know, perfect case for you. But as far as gaming, yeah, I mean, for, yeah, for a first-time build, this is perfect. But anything beyond it, no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't go that far. I would just go with a better case than this. So, again, this is my review on the Thermaltake V100 case. And um, thank you for watching this video.